Hi everyone, Belinda here from Belinda's DIYs. I'm so glad that you stopped by. If this is your first time here, I hope that you stick around long enough so that you can subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be creating a farmhouse style hook rack. And so let me tell you why I decided to create this. One of the reasons is because some of you know that I do have a dog and her name is Molly. And so I'm constantly taking her out to go do her thing and also for walks. And so I needed a hook rack that was close by the door because I'm constantly coming in and out with her. But the thing is that the wall where I wanted a hook rack was not that wide. It's probably like this wide, which is not a very wide space to put a huge wall rack. So it was hard for me to find the right size for that wall. So I decided to create one myself with items that I have offhand from Dollar Tree. Can you believe that? So I'll be using three of these Dollar Tree wooden cards and also three of these wooden puzzles. Now these you can find them in the children's section where they have all the toys. So really those are the main items that I'll be using from Dollar Tree. And I'll also be using three of these hooks and I found these in Amazon. These actually come in a pack of 10, I believe. And I've already used them in other projects around my home. Now, if you're interested in these hooks, I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description box and also in the comment section, because I understand sometimes some of you get confused as to where the description box is. So I'm gonna go ahead and link it also in the comment section if you're interested in those hooks. This is gonna be really easy to make. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. I just want to take a moment to tell you about my friend Wendy's channel, White Sparrow Living, Luke 12.6. Wendy is such an amazing crafter. Her DIYs are so brilliant that you will be amazed at her talent. Please go and check out her channel. I'll go ahead and link her channel down below and please let her know that I sent you. So I started with the obvious. I went ahead and I removed the wrapper from my wooden puzzles and I also removed the little wooden puzzle inserts and I put them away just in case I could use them later on in another DIY. So I laid them out side by side as you see me do there and I also used a square that way they would be in line because I was going to be hot gluing them together. Now I used the Hot Gorilla glue because this really bonds really strong and especially onto wood. So I didn't have to use wood glue or anything like that because the hot glue is sufficient for this project. now that I have all my pieces glued together, now you have this one long board and this measures about a 17 and a half inches long. Now with the wooden crates, I'm gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna line them up and then glue them side by side. And now that I've glued them all together, now I've created some sort of shelving for my rack. And now I'm gonna assemble this together and what I'm gonna do is hot glue that one long board that I created with the three pieces underneath the three crates. I didn't measure out anything, I pretty much just eyeballed the center. I'm also gonna be using some of these gallon stir sticks and these come in a pack of 10. Now I purchased these at Lowe's and these are about 97 cents for 10. So that's a really good deal. Now what I'm gonna do is reinforce where both the crate and the flat board join together by adding the stir sticks on the seam and I'm just gonna attach it with some hot glue. That one stir stick did not cover the whole board, so I am cutting another stir stick so that I can finish reinforcing the seams. So I went ahead and I cut two more pieces of stir sticks and I'm gonna put them right underneath where those crates are. I just wanna dress it up and not make it look so unfinished. And now I have this wall decor that has a little shelf 
And as you can see, this is the back. I reinforced it there with the stir sticks as you can see there on the back. The last thing that I will be adding is the hooks. But first, what I'm gonna do is sand it off. And I'm gonna be using my sanding block for that. Now on the back of these wood puzzles, they had these red letterings or words. So I'm gonna sand that off. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna lightly sand it. And now I'm ready to stain my wood piece. Now I started with this brown shoe liquid polish from Dollar Tree. I've used this before in the past. So I started to use this, but then I ran out. So I switched it over to this Waverly Wax in the color Antique. So I let this dry for about four hours and it was already dry, so I was ready to continue working on my project. Next, I wanted to give my wood piece more of a store-bought piece, so I decided to add this welcome sign, and this is from Chocotour. And I've talked to y'all a little bit about that. This is a transfer that goes on any surface and then you just add your chalk paste and you'll see me do that just a little bit later on but first i'm just gonna cut out the piece that i need so once i've cut out my transfer now i'm gonna position my words where i want them to be and now i've taken off the backing for my transfer and i'm ready to go so i'm gonna start smearing my chalk paste onto my transfer and all I do is use my squeegee for that and I just move my paint around. I've talked about this in another video. This is something that you can purchase online on the Chocotour website. I'll go ahead and list the website down below in the description box and also in the comment section. Now this particular sign here is only available if you join Chocotour. If not, I do have two other transfers that I would have used on here if I would have had them on hand, but I didn't. So in case you're interested, I'll go ahead and list all that information down in the description box and also in the comment section. And now for the reveal. I love doing this part because I love to see what is underneath and how it truly turned out. And I'm never disappointed. It always comes out so pretty using those transfers and that chalk paste. Now I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. The reason I love it so much is because it can turn an item like this into looking like it's store bought. I'll also link the video that I did a full review on this product. Now I'm also gonna be using these little pieces of the Dollar Tree Tower game. And what I've done is I got four pieces and I also stained them. Now I'm gonna be placing them on my board just like this so that I'm able to put my hook over it. And that way it gives the screws more stability whenever I screw it into the wood. So I'm gonna glue the two little pieces of wood together and it'll form one block. So I'm just gonna continue repeating the same process to the other two and then I'll end up having a set of three. And now I'm gonna hot glue those blocks where I want my hooks to be. And now I was ready to attach my hook and I did use four little screws to attach my hook as I'm showing you right there. And if you're wondering, these are the screws that I used. Now just in case you'd like to do this and you don't have those hooks, you can use these right here from Dollar Tree. Um, they would work fine. You could just spray paint them and they would look really nice. Or you could also use these self-adhesive hooks from Dollar Tree as well. I'll also be using these sawtooth hangers to hang my hook rack. And here I'm just showing you where I placed them.
Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. You have yourself a merry, merry Christmas and a blessed day. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.